cube roots. The volume of a cube can be found by using the formula of volume equals length times width times height, but since a cube has all equal sides, the length equals the width, which equals the height. So the volume of a cube can be found by multiplying the length times the length times the length, or since you're multiplying the same thing three times, it's to the length to the third. So the product of three equal factors is now called the cube of a number because of this relationship with the volume of a cube. And you can see we have it with this example. We have a cube that has a length of five, a width of five, and a height of five. So the length, the width, and the height are all equal to five. So we're multiplying that length three times, that five times five times five, which is equal to five to the third, which is 125. So the volume is 125, and it's the volume of a cube, so we say that's five, not to the third, but we can say that that's five cubed. So let's review more perfect cubes. Let's say we have n is our first 10 counting numbers, and then we're cubing that number. So we would have one cubed, two cubed, three cubed, four cubed, five cubed, and so on and so forth. That's equal to one times one times one. Then we have two times two times two. Then we have three times three times three, and so on and so forth. Let's complete the first 10 perfect cubes. So if we fill in our list, we have one cubed is one, two cubed is eight, three cubed is 27, four cubed is 64, five cubed is 125, six cubed is 216, seven cubed is 343, eight cubed is 512, nine cubed is 729, and 10 cubed is 1,000. And again, we found those numbers by taking the number n and cubing it. We're multiplying that number by itself three times. Now, if we have something cubed, we would have the inverse of cubing. So that's asking the question, what number was cubed or raised to the third power? And let's look at some examples to get the answer of 125. What number was cubed or raised to the third power to get an answer of one? What number was cubed or raised to the third power to get an answer of eight? If we look back at our chart, we can find our answers. So because five cubed is equal to 125, the answer of what number was cubed or, cubed or raised to the third power to get an answer of 125 is five. Because one to the third equals one, that's the number we're raising or cubing to get an answer of one is one. one to the third or one cubed is equal to one. And since two to the third or two cubed equals eight, the number that was cubed or raised to the third power to get eight is two.